I'd like to call this meeting to order. Nicole. <laughs> and uh, I ask Mr. Phillips to say the opening prayer. Let us pray. Gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we come to you today thankful for all the many blessings that you have given us as individuals, as a community, as a nation. Uh, we are very thankful for the past holiday where we celebrated and acknowledged the sacrifice of those who wear the uniform. We also come and ask that you bless the first responders and take care of them. Ask that you take care of those who wear the uniform, bless and keep them and bring them home safely to their families. Ask today that you be with the fiscal court as we deal with matters of the people of Simpson County. Please give this body wisdom and discernment to do that which is right. I ask that you bless and keep everyone here. Also ask that you forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have I noticed that we got now back in the courthouse? Amen. Thank you, Bill. The first thing on the agenda is to review and approve the fiscal year 1819 budget ordinance with a couple of revisions from the original one that was presented. Um, the largest thing is uh, Barry Plastics has got a new accounting. They're subbing out their accounting now, outsourcing their and. Uh, they are now requiring that they actually send their um, occupational taxes and it comes through fiscal court uh, as just passed through money. It's $245,000 and some change. Um, that's why the budget's gone from 12.7 to a little over 13 was, was that um, it's just strictly passed through money till 2021, three years left on it. Uh, when, you, when you say pass Nicole, through, it's passed through to the industrial board. To the industrial board. So that everybody yeah. is watching. It was originally on track to the industrial board, um, but they did not have a payroll. They did not split it up into two different entities. It was actually here, and then we will submit it to the industrial board so we can do that. Wasn't that the money in the code for the, that calendar that they bought? A tax on the deal. Yeah. Almost $20 million. Yeah. All right. And then uh, next, I uh, need a motion from one of the prevailing side to rescind the seventy-five additional $7,500 to soil conservation. Judge, just a clarification. I think the motion needs to be to reconsider. Reconsider. Okay. So moved. Uh, I don't think that Larry can. So he's what not, you Mr. 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 Chandler made the motion, and I'll second. Okay. Motions on the floor. Uh, to reconsider. To reconsider. And do we need a motion to? No, you just no. take a vote. Mm -hmm. Martin Chandler? Yes. James Spears? Yes. Mike Parkland? Yes. Larry Randolph? Yes. Bobby Bush? Yes. All right. And that is with the understanding that all of us up here have that if the state does not fund the soil conservation the way they're talking in, in November when they get their final number they will be coming back to talk to us again yes, yes. Okay. so I need a motion now to and a second to approve the budget as originally presented with the 
Well, that number's not in there. The 27,000 is what's in there now. So it would be just like the printed issue. Okay. Be approved right. first. I'll make a motion. We approve the budget as presented without change. First reading. First, first reading. reading. Yes. Second. Yes. Yes. Marty Chandler? Yes. Bobby Bush? Yes. Blake Tarplin? No. Jenny Spears? Yes. And then we have some uh, financial business, uh, just some transfers inside the sheriff's budget. Um, he has a little extra money left in payroll and things and uh, using it to, to buy some new equipment and some things at the end of the year. At the end of the year. I'll go over <coughs> Just to tell you <laughs> We had, uh, and like most agencies, we put off buying things until towards the end of the year to see if we can afford to buy them or not. Some of the things we put off too long. Uh, we have a little bit of money left in our personnel section. For one, and I say a little bit, we're talking about $38,000, $40,000 all year. Uh, we have some infrastructure problems that we've needed to correct for a long time, but the money hadn't been there. <coughs> the county has kind of started an IT department for Bill Roar. We needed to implement a server the four years I've been there, that's been on my list. But we had very important, but there were other things I needed to get to first. So that's my next thing. Right now, we have the money to put our server in, uh, save it through personnel. How did we save the personnel? Remember, we had a guy that got hurt in a car wreck, a guy that broke his ankle. They were out for several months. The other guys were having to cover for them, which is Everything worked out. But that's the reason we that money's there now. Uh, the server is going to run us by the time we're sitting down with about $7,500. What a server will enable us to do is hook all our computers together at the office. Keep in mind, we've got uh, 35 people that work at the sheriff's office. A lot of those are part time, that's not just the deputies. But with all the computers we've got, it enables them to talk to each other. I'll give you an example. Right now, uh, policy procedure manual, that's what the sheriff's office runs over. It's probably 400 pages long. You as a new employee, for me to print you that, we just spent $75. With a server, we can have group drives where we can electronically put it on there. Every time I do an update, you can go on the server. If your computer reaches it, you can look at the manual. We didn't have to print it. So over the long haul, it saves money. Secondly, the uh, software that's going to be used, we're upgrading it because it's way off. Uh, the county judge's office, they moved up in their computer system and probably needed to some time ago. Our computers, and I'm not a computer guy, I've got people that do that, won't speak to each other the way they need to until we get new software in there. So that's one thing. The second thing, I think I'd have to go to a special se session to explain other than it involves some software and our taxes. Uh, I'd have to confer with Sam. I don't think I can speak about that in public. Uh, moving on to equipment. Uh, we've got some tasers. Some tasers are about $1,500 a week, just so you know, uh, that are extremely old. I've been carrying one, and I don't mind. The reason I'm carrying it is you really don't know if it's going to work or not. There comes a time on the uh, little digital code on the back that it doesn't read. And, we talked to Taser, they about dated those. As a matter of fact, they don't want them. They're falling them away because they're so old. So we're updating those. Uh, radar guns, uh, we've got several units that don't have radar on. So when you say go take care of this traffic enforcement, that's okay as long as you got a radar. But if you don't have a radar, you're kind of out. So I can go on and on, but that's where the money's being moved to different things. Part of the uh, thing is earlier in the year, as you're aware, gas prices have gone up. I didn't come back and ask for more money, but we ran out of gas money a long time ago. I've been stealing money out of law enforcement supplies and not buying supplies. 
moving it over the gas. Maintenance is the same way. We've talked about vehicles. Uh, this would have been a chance maybe to got in the vehicle, but honestly, at the end of the year, there's not any way we could order a vehicle, get it here, and pay for it in that. So, uh, none of it's being wasted. Uh, if I didn't need it, I wouldn't ask for it. I'd say let it come back and we can look at something next year. But we're, uh, the other good thing for future reference, uh, one of my guys part-time has been acting as a makeshift mechanic for us. Uh, he's not full-time, he serves papers, prisoner transport. But that little shop where we started the new building over there, we've been doing all our oil changes and stuff like that. We're starting to see where our maintenance is going to come down doing that. Uh, he's talked to Key Oil and some other places. We're going to stem by and bottle some oil. We're going to have a drum over there. We're going to do our own oil. We're pre-putting some tires in there, brake pads, stuff like that. So again, going into next year, our figures may not have carried us, but it will do in this because that's going to kind of soften up. Any questions about any of the transfer? Thank, Thank you. Need a motion to approve. <clears throat> so moved. Second. Mr. Tarpley, Mr. Bush. Frank Tarpley. Yes. Bobby Bush. Yes. Marty Chandler. Yes. Larry Randolph. Yes. James Peter. Yes. Need a motion to adjourn. <laughs> so so move. Didn't need to do it first. Marty and Mike. We did them. Huh? That's what we did. That's what that was? Yeah. Oh. All in favor. Yes. Marty Taylor. Yes. Larry yes. Randolph. Yes. 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 Yes.